have amphibious warfare like Dylan Wynn. Is that what he's in? I guess so. Man, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Which your most interesting class? Uh, right now I'm in geology. I find that pretty interesting. It's like uh, rocks, you know, topographical maps and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> good good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Sean, a lot is made of their secondary wazoo's. How you can kind of pick it apart. What have you seen on tape, and do you kind of agree with that sentiment? Uh, well, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I think, um, you know. The one thing that really stood out to me about Washington State's defense is that they have a lot of different looks and schemes. I think it's a really big challenge for us as an offense to stay sharp on what we're seeing and you know how to adjust to every look. So I think you know they're going to do a lot of stuff, um, and it's really the, it, 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 it presents a big challenge to us to just really be smart about what we're doing out there on the field, adjusting to what they're giving us. My, uh, Coach Riley said that they're they're aggressive. Is that a ad good adjective for them, or how else would you describe it? Yeah, no, I, I would I would absolutely agree with that. They're they're an aggressive team, you know. Like I said before, they're going to do a lot of stuff. So you know, we got to be ready for everything. And, and like you said, with an aggressive with an aggressive team, you never really you know, can never really be quite sure of what they're going to bring out you uh, at you until the game actually starts. So that's why we got to just be really sharp. You guys are number fourteen coming back home. Any chance you overlook these guys? Uh, not at all. Not at all. Our um, you know our team has been extremely focused throughout this whole week. Um, there, there's no no room for any of that, and I think our team's done a great job staying focused all week on another tough opponent. You know, the Pac-12 every week is going to be a total battle, so we're ready for that, and we know that uh, you know that they're going to come in and they're going to give us their best game, and, and, and I think we prepared accordingly. It's going How how does it feel to come back home in almost a month and play in front of the home crowd? Oh, it's going to be great. You know, uh, school started now, and you know people are kind of buzzing. You know, I. I walked out. I walked to practice on Monday morning, and I could see people camped out all around Reeser for tickets. You know, I heard our student section sold out, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a great atmosphere. It'll be fun to come back and play in front of our own fans. It's going to be awesome. Kind of going back to the not look, overlooking anybody. Does going three and nine help you guys with that mentality, not not taking anything for granted? I mean, I guess in a way. Um, Really, we don't we don't even really think about that anymore. I think we just think week to week. I know what coach has been saying all week is we're 0 and 0 for this week, and we want to go undefeated this week, and then we'll be 0 and 0 next week. So I think it's more of a week to week approach, and you want to do everything you can in this this one one period of seven days, and then move on to the next seven days. So I think that's that's really been our approach all week, and um, I think we've done a good job staying focused. What about Long as a player? What, is, what makes him so good? Oh, he's a, he's an outstanding player. Um, you know he's. He kind of does it all for him. Um, lines up in a ton of different spots. Uh, obviously, a great pass rusher, good against the run. You know, I, he's a he's an outstanding player. So it'll be a good challenge for us to go against. Him. What's the buzz like on campus now? You mentioned that class is going. I mean, you were named the Pac-12 Player of the Week and stuff. I mean, what are people saying to you on campus? Uh, people don't really say too much to me. I don't. I don't get recognized very much for anything like that. What? The ladies no. don't know who you are. You oh, know, no, man. no, no, no. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think it's just you see people wearing beaver gear everywhere, you know, see people camping out for tickets. You can just kind of feel it. You know, the people are excited, you know, as are we. So it'll be a, a really fun experience to come back and play a home game after almost a month away. Have you been confused for any other athlete, maybe a basketball player? I don't know. <laughs> uh, not that I'm aware of. What does beaver juice taste like? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, <laughs> Apparently, Lee Corso, you know, tagged Desmond that. Howard. Desmond Howard yeah. tagged that phrase. So, uh, I mean, I'll jump on that bandwagon. So, uh, well, uh, I'm not sure. Well, Flat, Flat Tail Brewing has now made, made an actual cocktail called Beaver Juice. Oh, really? Water. It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to ask you, you know, Travis Long, like, he stayed on, on Marietta or when he took him down and kind of talked trash to him. And have you experienced that? Any, any players in the past few games where you've had to keep your cool? Uh, not, not really. Uh, you know, I I like to consider myself a pretty level-headed guy. Uh, you know, I don't really get it get into all the you know trash talk or anything. You know, people can say whatever they want, but ultimately, what they do on the field is is what matters. So I, I don't really buy in any of that. I mean, I didn't think you would say anything. I just didn't know if anyone. No, not that I've noticed. I don't really pay attention to anyone saying anything, anyways. Anything changed for you from last year? You guys three and nine this year, getting a lot of national attention. Anything changed for you at all um, off the field? Not, not really. Um, you know, really, all we have time for is, is school and football. So there's not time for any other distractions or anything like that. You know, we come, we come here in the morning. We focus as much as we can on football, and then we go to class. You know, it's there's not really room for for anything else. And I think that's that's the way it has to be, and that's the way our, our team wants it. And you know, it really, you know, three and nine was last season, but 
but we're moving on and we're happy with where we're at, but we know we have a long way to go. When you kind of start winning games like this and get a taste for it, does it kind of make you hungrier to keep it going like that? Oh, I mean, I would say so. I think, um, you know, like I said, every week you want to come away with the win. So, you know, I think last year everyone kind of knew throughout the off season, you know, we don't, we don't want to go through that again. Um, but at the same time, you know, keeping that in mind and dwelling on it are two different things. I think we've done a good job moving past it. Cool. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, no problem. Looks